Good morning, and it's Clive Lambert here from Futures Text with a quick look at a few of the more interesting charts that we've got uh, knocking around at the moment. And I thought I'd start today by looking at the euro against the US dollar. I think I looked at this a few weeks ago and identified and was stressing how important the Fibonacci levels were on this one right now. And one of the levels that I highlighted was 111.87 as a support level. And we had bounced off of that level very neatly in early March um, and then got all the way up to around 114.50 where we fell over basically and came all the way back and last week we had another go at 111.87. Uh, we did that um, literally the, this time last week, last Tuesday, um, and we bounced again. Um, we have, you know, we're now trading uh, 112.70 around there after putting some green on the chart yesterday. So um, we are trying to move away from that Fibonacci level again and might soon see a move through 112.91. 13.00 that can take us back to those, you know, that key area at 114.20 to 114.50. So that's what that looks like. Uh, what's my next chart? Let's look at the WTI. Again, I looked at this last week uh, or a couple of weeks ago and we were bumbling along below uh, the $60 mark with the uh, 200 day moving average sitting above at 61.50. That has now been uh, seen off and we've also seen a rally that's taken us through 63.70 which was my next upside target and that's again compliments of uh, Mr Fibonacci and so yes that is still looking very strong and there, I've seen a few people around the place saying that it's looking overbought now and yes it is RSI is reading 76 this morning um, but on the daily on a daily value um, but that is no reason to sell and the trend is strong in this one right now and I would continue to be looking to buy dips on that one unless the chart tells me otherwise. So uh, next chart is gold and we have a key area of support and once again it's my friend Mr Fibonacci that's uh, that's sort of uh, aiding us on our way here and, and keeping uh, you know keep supplying us with strong reference levels and 1280 is the strong level in this one and again last week we sold off to 1280 we we're sold off to about 1285 actually and saw a recovery and on Thursday and Friday of last week we posted candlesticks on the daily chart that you can see there um, with long lower shadows they're sort of hammer shaped candlesticks which is saying that we're seeing the dips being bought around that 1280 when, when we were we're dipping down into the 1280s so that actually looks set fair to uh, try and head back to 1330 and then 1350 again with some buyers returning and hold and making sure we're holding that key support area around the 1280s uh, area um, now usually if gold's going up it's because equities are weakening uh, but let, which is sort of segueing into my final chart which is the S&P 500 are equities weakening the answer is no not really we're still you know we made a we're making new highs almost daily but we're only eking them out we're not really doing this with any kind of conviction that's the only thing that would worry me on this chart and uh, as well as that, the other thing I would uh, be slightly concerned about with this chart is the gaps that we've, we've got a couple of gaps that have appeared on the because the chart I'm actually showing is the day session only. So I've stripped out the overnight uh, trade and I'm just looking at what happens um, when the actual markets are when the when the underlying cash markets are open. And so that tells us we've got support at 2840 and 2750. And they're the big uh, gap support levels below. And, you know, we'd really need to start breaking some of those levels before we could uh, even consider the idea that this one is turning over. So if you're here people saying that uh, equities, uh, you know, the S&P is looking a bit overdone. Um, I would say, yes, there are some signs, but not enough yet. And we would, you know, we're still holding important support levels. And the far left of that chart shows you the highs from last October, last uh, September and October, 29.45 to 29.50, which is obviously what the uh, what we're eyeing up now. That's the all-time highs are back on the radar, as it were, for the S&P. So hopefully that's given you something to think about and uh, have a good day. Thank you.